We continue today with chapter 14, The Holy Meeting Place. In the darkness you have obscured the glory God gave you and the power he bestowed upon his guiltless son. All this lies hidden in every darkened place, shrouded in guilt and in the dark denial of innocence. Behind the dark doors you have closed lies nothing, because nothing can obscure the gift of God. It is the closing of the doors that interferes with recognition of the power of God that shines in you. Banish not power from your mind, but let all that would hide your glory be brought to the judgment of the Holy Spirit, and there undone. Whom he would save for glory is saved for it. He has promised the Father that through him you would be released from littleness to glory. To what he promised God he is wholly faithful for he shares with God the promise that was given him to share with you. He shares it still for you. Everything that promises otherwise, great or small, however much or little valued, he will replace with the one promise given unto him to lay upon the altar to your father and his son. No altar stands to God without his son and nothing brought there that is not equally worthy of both, but will be replaced by gifts wholly acceptable to Father and to Son. Can you offer guilt to God? You cannot then offer it to His Son, for they are not a part, and gifts to one are offered to the other. You know not God because you know not this, and yet you do know God, and also this. All this is safe within you, where the Holy Spirit shines. He shines not in division, but in the meeting place where God, united with His Son, speaks to His Son through Him. Communication between what cannot be divided cannot cease. The holy meeting place of the unseparated Father and His Son lies in the Holy Spirit and in you. All interference in the communication that God Himself wills with His Son is quite impossible here. Unbroken and uninterrupted love flows constantly between the Father and the Son, as both would have it be. And so it is. Let your mind wander not through darkened corridors, away from light's center. You may choose to lead yourself astray, but you can be brought together only by the guide appointed for you. He will surely lead you to where God and His Son await your recognition. They are joined in giving you the gift of oneness, before which all separation vanishes. Unite with what you are. You cannot join with anything except reality. God's glory and His Son's belong to you in truth. They have no opposite and nothing else can you bestow upon yourself. There is no substitute for truth, and truth will make this plain to you as you are brought into the place where you must meet with truth, and there you must be led through gentle understanding, which can lead you nowhere else. Where God is, there you are. Such is the truth. Nothing can change the knowledge given you by God unto unknowingness. Everything God created knows its Creator. For this is how creation is accomplished by the Creator and by His creations. In the holy meeting place are joined the Father and His creations, and the creations of His Son with them together. There is one link that joins them all together, holding them in the oneness out of which creation happens. 
the link with which the Father joins himself to those he gives the power to create, can never be dissolved. Heaven itself is union with all of creation and with its one creator. And heaven remains the will of God for you. Lay no gifts other than this upon your altars, for nothing can coexist with it. Here your little offerings are brought together with the gift of God, and only what is worthy of the Father will be accepted by the Son, for whom it is intended. To whom God gives himself, he is given. Your little gifts will vanish on the altar, where he has placed his own. And from the workbook, Lesson 112, for morning and evening review. Light and joy and peace abide in me. I am the home of light and joy and peace. I welcome them into the home I share with God because I am a part of Him. I am as God created me. I will remain forever as I was, created by the changeless like Himself, and I am one with Him and He with me. On the hour, light and joy and peace abide in me. On the half hour, I am as God created me. Amen.